Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond. Today we are playing Vayne, and this is donated by Ten Shoga. So thank you very much, dude, for the dono. Haven't played Vayne in a really long time. Uh, but yeah, she's a really fun champion if you can get it right. If you can get out of lane phase in relative, uh, like an okay state, I, I've always, she's really fun. Um, so it's a platinum game, bit of high plat on the enemy team, a low plat in other places. Again, lower gold or higher gold, probably duo queue smurfing potentially going on. Who knows? Um, this is very weird. Are they playing? It's a one trick Vlad, not on Vladimir, but like who's their mid laner? Like on, on this, it's Mordekaiser mid, Tam Kench top. That's odd. <laughs> That's really weird. Uh, I've got a Lulu support, which is always nice. She is auto-filled, but hopefully it should be fine. Uh, technically, I'm auto-filled too. I've uh, got an Echo mid. One trick Wukong is on his Wukong played. Oof, 282 games of Wukong. That is a lot. Uh, 76 games of Jin, not bad stats at all. And then, yeah, for smurfing, enemy team only, I'd say, has the Mord. Fresh account, level 43. Other ones... Probably not a Smurfs, but the Wukong account might be like a, an alternate second account or a one trick account. Some people have, which is something that I've actually recently learned about. Some people have got um, one trick accounts and then like a main account that's not a one trick account. And then they have a one trick account. Um, I don't know why, but some people do. Also, potentially I should have gone exhaust. I just realized. Exhaust might have been better because then if I'm fighting Maud in the Death Realm or Wukong in a 1v1, Exhaust would have definitely done me better. Oh well. Hitting me is like a box in the shadows. Your threats mean nothing. I am beyond your comprehension. All right, Belveth. Hey, El Greco. I have no time for nonsense. I was born knowing every joke in existence. They fail to move. <laughs> We're having like a good old chat here, apparently. <laughs> Hitting me is like boxing with shadows. Okay, why is Echo here, by the way? I'm literally gonna ping mid. I Echo, go to mid. <laughs> why was he just like standing there? Hey, new blue. Alright, Jin Karma. So they're gonna... They're gonna have range on us, basically. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, we're fine. Mordekaiser mid. Why? Um. Don't get hit. Oh, that's the damage you need to avoid. We're just going to get pushed in here, but it's fine. Oh, Lulu, you're positioning. Run, 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 run. This is the negative of Vayne. It's our lane phase, but that's kind of what you have to accept when you're playing Vayne. Just really trying to focus on as getting as much of the farm as I can. Because right now, even though we've been harassed so much, I'm even, which is really good. <laughs> considering what's going on here, like Jesus Christ. Oops. Do you max Q on, on vein or do you max W nowadays? Over the years it changes and I don't know which is the right thing now. W nowadays? Okay. Nice, dude. That we should not have got that flash. 
Please gank. <laughs> Please give us a gank. Even if it's no kill gank, just getting any little pressure off us would be nice. Um, I'm going to have to go back. Oh, I didn't upgrade E. Oops, my bad. Oh, yeah, Moxham. I've said that for years. Moxham just said, I'm literally the definition of do as I say, not as I do. Because, yeah, if if you're an autofilled AD carry, you should never really play Vayne. But, again, we've done Smurf series for years, playing all the champions under the sun, and that's kind of what we do. If I ever felt that I was a, a negative to my team playing any champion, I wouldn't do it. Or I would, like, not play certain champs. But I've never really reached the point in all these unranked diamonds or smurf stuff that I've ever gone, oh, I should stay clear of that specific champion. We can always do pretty good. Look at them. Would have been good if Lulu kind of helped me auto attack some of them, but oh well. Do I like the skin? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, maybe it's the chroma that I selected, but it's pretty ugly. Have I ever played Quinn? Yeah, I've played Quinn. I've played every champion in League. some a lot more than others I think I need level 6 in order to kill these people um Our oh, jungler just solo killed their Maud. Our oh, gangplank killed their Tam. Boys. Ooh. Oh, it's jungler. Our gangplank just solo killed two people. <laughs> um. That's not bad damage, actually. Yes. Yes, kill me. That didn't stun. Took. Uh, Wahoo Vom, thank you so much uh, for the 23 months of Prime. Um, says, hey, Huz. Oh, as always, TA for the constant and chill vibes. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, I will say one of the problems I think League still has, personally, let me know what you guys think. Late game hyper carry champions are still too strong in the early game. Vayne's a late game hyper carry. Gangplank's a late game hyper carry. A lot of these champions are late game hyper carries, and it doesn't feel like they're bad in late game. They're still amazing in late game, but they're actually good in... Early yeah, Cassadin. Cassadin is strong in the early game now. Like... It's crazy. Kale, yep. I've seen Kales win lane. Like, literally getting solo kills against things that are lane bullies. It's weird. Like, that's one thing I definitely feel they need to maybe uh, address. Well, yeah, Shmiel's saying Gangplank is a lane bully in disguise. I would actually agree, because I've not played as much Gangplank this season. Um, but I have played a bit of him. He doesn't feel insanely weak in the early game like he used to. Never seen me play Cass. I've played Cassadin, um, but the thing with me and Cassadin, I've never enjoyed that champion. That, that, that's the biggest thing. If there's ever a champion, like, I've never seen Huz play a lot of that. I've played it. Um, I just don't enjoy it. That's the thing. If I don't actively play a champion, it's because I just don't like it. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Do I have any plans for the weekend? Um, uh, not really. 
think I'm going out for lunch on Sunday. I think that's like the biggest thing I'm doing, which is nice. You enjoyed my Skarner? Ugh. Sometimes when I'm playing the, like kind of those meme -y champions, I, it, I am having fun on them, but it's because I don't take the game seriously when I'm playing those champs because I can't. So like when I've played Ivan, people are like, dude, this is really fun. Play more Ivan. It, it, would, it wouldn't be good if I played a lot of Ivan. It's just the one-off game that I can kind of just turn my brain off. That's what makes it fun. Same thing as like with Master Yi. I've had fun playing Master Yi. Just can't do it more than like one game a year. Ooh, nice real honest. Getting a, a breakfast in bed it being a father's day. I think we can start fighting them. Evil lurks around every corner. Potentially. An enemy has been slain. Dude, Belvet's doing well. Double. double yeah, that's fine. Your dad's in London with Father's Day? Oh. Well. The dark should fear me. I think I can beat them in a fight if we just have good positioning. Oh no! A fourth shot. There's so much damage. Oh, close. I mean, if I got any stun there, like that's the difference of me getting a stun versus not getting a stun. That's as simple as that. It was. I don't know. It felt close off that condemn there, but it just wasn't close enough. Yeah, someone's saying, why did I take healing instead of exhaust? That's a mistake that I think I made. I should have gone exhaust and then Lulu could have gone ignite and I think that would be more beneficial. So that, I think, was a mistake. Most AD carries, I still value heal really heavily, but like Vayne with her low... Any, any AD carry that you're basically in melee range, exhaust is more beneficial. <laughs> Yeah, I switched targets. Well, I switched targets on purpose because I felt like if I was staying on Jin, I was too away from the Lulu because then Karma was blocking. So that's why I swapped over to the Karma. Do I dislike Tito or Timo as a few years ago? Hell no, Timo's fine. Timo is... The way that I've defined Timo is if you compare... Like Timo legitimately a few years ago was League's most hated champion. If you look at the monstrosities that Riot has released in the last couple of years, Teemo is literally nothing bad. Oh, that was all good. Hey, Galopa. I'm dead. I played that really bad. God damn it. Uh, Galopa, tier 3, 35 months. Says, happy 35 months, Huz. Nearly three years since I found you, and I'm so happy to found you. Been a wild ride. Here's two years. Um, here's for years to come. Sorry, I haven't been on much. That's fine, Galopa. Life happens, you know? Absolutely fine. Oh, is this game a... I think it's a shield bow game. Like, Kraken is amazing, but I think I just need to focus on surviving because I'm always going to do good damage. I'm always going to do good damage eventually. And I, I'm, I'm honestly probably taking too many of fights early for Vayne. Um, but yeah, oh well. We're having fun. When is the subathon? Uh, it's a week tomorrow, officially, of me streaming. 
the 25th is the start. So we'll likely have this upcoming a week today, the Friday, we'll probably have that off as like a a calm before the storm. They will be purified. Um. I want Lulu to have the gold. I don't really care for taking that. I don't think that we would have shared. Oh, okay. Ambry, thank you much for the 18 months of Prime. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Okay, they're looking for a gank if they're trying to clear vision. I waited to put my ward down until Karma was cut. Like, again, vision there, vision there. If this isn't a gank down in bot lane, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, Wukong's right there. They made it a little bit too obvious, I would say. Oh. My bad. Hey, Sky Wraith. Too much i tried dude if we ran away we're just gonna get hit by Jin ult, so we may as well go forward and try damn that's annoying just not strong enough yet lulu altered a bit too early a little bit probably i understand why she did it because i was getting away from her as Vayne obviously has the um, the movement speed when she's chasing down people. But yeah, Jin's got Gale already and obviously I don't... Oh my god, five health. Uh, I don't have my Mythic. That might literally just be the difference at the moment because obviously the Shield Bow is going to give me a lot of survivability. It gives Jin mobility, it gives me survivability. And for a more melee orientated AD carry, it's pretty high value. Yeah, Maud's build is really, really weird. He's building tank Maud mid lane. That doesn't sound great to me, but it's something that people won't really know what's going on. So, oh my God. In theory though, later, I'm hoping we can do well. Let's go get Shilba. I'm hoping we can do well later because I actually beat their comp quite badly if I can survive. Hell, so does Belveth. Both of us do. Echo might struggle against their comp because he's an assassin versus this. He won't be able to assassinate pretty much anybody. Like He'll even probably struggle assassinating Karma if she's got definitely exhaust up. The dark should fear and we have to really stop them getting mountain dragons, I just realized. If they get mountain dragons and they're this tanky... Yeah. That's a bad death. Oof. Fish paste. How's it going, dude? 10 months of Prime says, hey oh, How's it going, dude? Yeah, this Echo is not having a good time. Still think the game's winnable, though. If we just kind of work together. It does seem that Belveth is giving up the dragon, which is not great. But we don't have the Echo, so maybe we can't even fight it. I'm on my way. Uh, Empoleon Bonaparte. Thank you so much, dude. Mm. I don't know why Belveth's spamming that. Pretty sure she died in Maud Alt. Yeah, enemy team has definitely got clear momentum right now. 
Oh, they even did dragon as well. We got one. Yeah, Napoleon Bonaparte, they were two for the 13 months of Prime. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Purple Rabbit with a brand new Prime also. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, I don't have ult. Hey, yummy flapjacks. Oh, Lulu. Hey, Belveth died. Belveth got killed by Tam. Ooh, everyone's just kind of dying. <laughs> Not sure we can hold on long enough. If it, like, it kind of feels like the enemy team is starting to snowball away. Which is not ideal. Uh. Yeah, pool party gangplank their watermelons or something of that nature. I'm on my way. Ulti, survive, survive, survive. Don't get it, don't get it. Nice. We do anything with that? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, that was good. I don't know what okay that's a range again vein as a people always forget about all right shut down got the shutdown it's technically worth he does a lot of damage Don't know. Did I have shield bow on cooldown? I might have. I don't know. Not the sure. But still, again, that's not terrible for us. Not terrible. Oh, I made that squash way too strong. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. This echo has got caught a lot. Presuming they're going to be looking for Baron. dead again <laughs> I don't do enough damage yet and because Belveth just got killed like straight away we had no fight unfortunately again I, this game is definitely winnable if we just work together like again when we haven't I don't think had one 5v5 yet that's not good the shadow 
If we uh oh dude, two of them were doing Baron when we had a big fight. Maud and Wukong were just doing Baron. Ugh. God. <laughs> we have to do it. Hey Borador. Oh, and they did. God, they just got complete control this game. Weird. Is Maud mid a thing? No. That's a cheese pick this game. Oh, he was not going to get to me. He's going to be gone. He's got Baron. Oh. <sighs> we have these occasional good fights, but then the enemy team is weird. They like they're splitting a lot on their comp. God, he does damage. I don't I can't tell if it's him doing it all or is that like the minions? Just show up. <laughs> they are always about. God damn it. Our wits end next. Wits end will help against Morden Tam. We're just going to keep holding on. The, the longer we hold on, I do think we'll eventually have advantage this game. Nice damage. He's not dead though, I don't think. Uh, Kane, 14 months tier one, says here's a 14 months of being able to consistently watch the stream despite being from NA. Welcome, man. Yeah. Hey, nice. He finished him. That's a good shutdown. Okay, there, there's like good things happening. These, All these kills were getting us bounties and everything. That's not bad. Not bad. I just need that one 5v5 that I've got a front line in front of me and I can kill everything. Uh, Magnum Buck, 27 months of Prime. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's not what we potentially need. Hmm. Hopefully she comes back. It'll be a bit of a feels bad if she doesn't. Also, this is quite a, a good game so far. Oh, again, I'm a bit worried because like normally when someone just disconnects, like they do come back pretty quick. She's not come back yet. Oh dear. Hey, never mind. I smell black Hmm. Cause like I will kill Tam and stuff like that, not it won't be hard. Gangplank's having a hard time. Because mm, Gangplank's not the best tank killer. Unless he's like really overfed. <laughs> Good things are happening and then a summon is disconnected. Yep. Uh, that was actually kind of funny. Dude. I thought we could win in this fight, you know? I mean, we kind of have. It's okay. If no one, I think someone might die here. I mean, it's a three for three. We're actually gaining. We are literally gaining momentum back in this game. It's getting there. 
I can kill the mod easy. Like, the mod's not a problem. If he ults me, it's kind of trolling. Because he'll never win the 1v1. Yeah, M Maud probably won't help me again. Why not buy QSS? Because I beat Maud in the death realm. Considering he's quite strong, it's actually quite a nice thing to kill him. We need to go. We literally cannot afford to give them this. Okay, this could be good. Gangplank didn't ult. Mm, I got just literally just sat on, unfortunately. I don't know if Gangplank ult just came up or what. That would have been handy. Are they getting Mountain Soul? Oh, they are. Yeah, Mountain Soul, I think, might be a step too far. Because, like, you've got these two massive tanks. Even Wukong's tanky. Like, I can kill them. It just takes too long. Hmm. Now they might try Baron straight after. Oof. Because we didn't have Lulu for that fight. It wasn't Lulu's fault. I don't think we had to do something about the dragon we had to attempt because it is pretty bad all right here we go big lulu steal incoming <laughs> imagine if oh why she use wait she used her spells already oh Ah, he did beat me because I stayed too close to him. I couldn't because of the where he altered me. I didn't have any room to move because it was all confined between the rocks and everything. Oh. Damn. I need this. It might even be worse. Uh, actually, by the time I come back alive, I'll probably have that. It was close. It was. Just, I just had nowhere to to move. I beat Maud in the in the death realm easily if I'm allowed to kite him a little bit. But because of where he altered me, like, again, it was just literally stuck in this area that you can't kite. It's too narrow and everything. I tried. Alright, Wits End will be great, though. Oh, yeah, I did dodge most of his abilities and I still got killed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's because I was just on top of him in his passive. And his passive is proccing demonic and everything like that. I need to just... You need to kite to get away from his, like, melee range. I just couldn't get away from him enough. And obviously, more in nature, if he hits any Q, a lot of people don't realize... I'm sure people have more have realized as time gone, has gone on, but Mord's Q is an isolation damage tool that it does more damage if you're by yourself and isolated. And obviously, you're always isolated in the death realm. Therefore, if he hits a Q in the death realm, you're always getting the max damage from it. No, Belveth should not take red. She was literally trying to steal that away. Dude, like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be whatevers, but she is not doing much this game and kind of dying at the beginning of every team fight. I think giving it to a Vayne is a bit more handy. I might be biased because I'm the Vayne, but... Yeah.
Play that well. I hear the innocent cry out. If they don't kill me, I can. I, as I've said, the whole game, I can kill them all. They need to really focus me. <laughs> Whee! Let's go, baby. Ace. Ace. Yeah, do not allow a, a, a Vayne to do any, like, 1v5, she will. It's the type of champion. Is your last name Windex because you be clean? God damn it, dude. That's an awful joke. <laughs> Alright, time to leave. Time to leave. I have a lot of gold. I do, Riftwalker, yes. Penta from this game. I don't know if I can get a Penta because the team fights are actually spreading out quite a lot. And I do also think the enemy team after that might be a bit like, right, guys. Let's kind of not ignore the vein. We're tanky now, though. Tank item time. Stops me getting just kaboomed and also is a counter to the gin. Because the Jin's the only one on range that can outrange me this game. I route range all the other, obviously, because they're all melee. Oh, the only problem that we've got is 30 seconds till Dragon, which we need to fight for it. But now we are out of territory. We have to walk into basically blind territory, which is not good. Oh, my team got caught. No. Oh, well. They got caught, so we had a bad fight. I don't know who got caught. The gangplank? Oh, that wasn't the Lulu's fault. Oh, it's not the Lulu's fault that you got caught. We were like, I was waiting off to the side because it's like, all right, let's wait for the dragon to be up. But then gangplank got caught. He didn't ult again. Oh, did Lulu get caught? Again, I don't know who got caught. Someone got caught. I'm going to upload this because it's actually been a really fun game. Again, we unfortunately lose, but it's been fun. We tried. We just couldn't get much momentum this game. Like, we had the damage to potentially carry, but every time that it was close of me, like, oh, we can pop off. Like, that type of thing just unfortunately happened. And it's like, oh, well, okay. Vayne needs a front line. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. It was still fun, though. Does this gangplank play it at all? Uh, 20 games. He's an AD carry player. I think he needed to prioritize getting his ult off a little bit more because there were several fights that he didn't actually use his ulti, which is a shame because it's a really good ability. But anyway, we only lost 11, so it's not a big deal. We still had fun. Vayne is very satisfying, and I feel we played okay. Lane phase was rough because of the range advantage, and then some of the team fights were really good. But we can't win team fights when people like get deaded straight away. And then obviously I'm joining the, the team fight late when one or two people have already been picked. And then the enemy team can then just collapse on me and I'm just dead. So that wasn't fun. But anyway, uh, we go 11, 10, 5. Do 41,000 damage. We actually do more damage than anyone on the enemy team. Also, my gangplank did 44,000. So again, we're doing decent damage. It just didn't matter. Um, obviously, the enemy team has a bit of a weird cheese pick mid with Maud and then has two really big tanks and then they have the engage of Wukong. It was hard to deal with. But um, yeah, and the Belveth. Belveth, as I've said many, many times, she's a pretty bad champion in high rating and she's always going to be unless her stats are broken because she is literally Master E 2.0 and Master E is literally garbage in high rating and Belveth is just a modern version but still has the exact same weaknesses. So a lot of these team fights, you never saw Belveth actually kind of go around and kill people. I don't think she did in once in one team fight, and that's just that's not the player, that's the champion. But um, yeah. But anyway, if you guys still enjoyed this fun game of Vayne, shame we lost, but it was still fun. Do throw a like on the video, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace, restore our glory. Oh,